upon a time, there lived a tiny princess as small as your thumb. She was called Thumbelina. She was so small that she could sleep in a nutshell. Look, Thumbelina is sleeping. Thumbelina. Once upon a time, there was a woman who loved children very much. She had no children of her own. Then one day, something miraculous happened, while she was watering a flower. Hey, what is this? Inside the flower, there was a tiny girl. As small as a thumb, the woman called the child Thumbelina. Sweet dreams, my princess. Good night, mom. Then one night, a toad came into Thumbelina's bedroom. Ribbit, ribbit, very pretty. I'd like her for my daughter-in-law. Oh no! The toad kidnapped Thumbelina. Thumbelina was taken to the pond. She missed her home, and she cried every day. <laughs> mommy, mommy! <laughs> a crawfish swimming by felt sorry for Thumbelina. He thought it was a shame for her to marry a toad. Pretty lady, don't cry. I will help you get home. The crawfish clipped the stem of the lily pad where Thumbelina was sitting. Quick, lady, run away! Hurry, hurry! Where are you going? Stop! Thumbelina's lily pad floated far down the river. A large beetle followed the lily pad. Suddenly, he zoomed down and grabbed Thumbelina. Wow, she's so pretty. I think I'll marry her. The beetle bragged about Thumbelina to his friends. They jeered at her. Ha! <laughs> That girl has no wings and only two hands. <laughs> <laughs> you call this pretty? The beetle was so embarrassed that he left her in the forest and flew away. Thumbelina was all alone in the forest. Soon, winter came. She was cold and hungry. <laughs> I'm so cold. Thumbelina wandered through the forest. Then one day, she came across a field mouse hole. Oh, hurry! Come inside. Thank you so much, ma'am. The kindly field mouse listened to Thumbelina's sad story. She invited Thumbelina to live with her. One very cold day, Thumbelina went outside and found a swallow. He was trembling with the cold. She took him into the warm mouse hole. I hope you get well soon, Swallow, so you can go home. Thumbelina took good care of the swallow. Soon, 
he was well and was able to fly again. At last, the time came for him to fly home to the flower country. He asked Thumbelina to go with him, and she agreed. Princess Thumbelina, look! There's flower country! So Thumbelina came to live in flower country. She met the prince, and he fell in love with the beautiful girl. The prince gave her a pair of wings and asked her to marry him. Thumbelina and the Flower Prince were married and lived happily ever after. I wonder where Thumbelina came from. From under the sea? From the sky? Aha! I know! I'm sure she's from the land of Bear. 